a natural small compound with huge benefits. Hi, I'm Dr. Amit Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist, and today I'm introducing something new. So listen up. Don't skip over this video. It can save your life. Listen up. Now, I'm going to talk about something called resveratrol. Hello, folks. Yes, today I'm introducing you to this powerful little molecule that has been making waves in the medical community. Yes, say hi to resveratrol. Now, don't let that fancy name, it's even hard for me to pronounce, <laughs> scare you. It is just a natural compound, guess what, found in grapes and berries. And yes, your favorite bottle of red wine. For me, the non-alcoholic red wine, because I don't drink alcohol. I think it is toxic. I don't believe in it. Now, resveratrol is like that friend who always has your back, especially when it comes to battling diabetes. Now, when you're drinking wine with diabetes, you know your blood sugar will go up, especially if you're going non-alcoholic, right? But from helping out our tiny pancreatic beta cells, what are the beta cells? Remember the, the insulin producing cells, you need them right? You don't want to make too much insulin. You don't want to be insulin resistant, but you have to make insulin to survive. And if you are losing those beta cells, even any tiny bit of carbs, any little tiny fruit will spike your blood sugar and you don't want that to happen, right? So those beta cells are very important. So in animal studies, for example, resveratrol is quite an overachiever. In fact, it could be slinging capes in a diabetes superhero movie. I'm serious. Buckle up. I'm going to dive into this action-packed world of resveratrol. Let's see how this feisty little compound is going to make your life sweeter, one glucose molecule at a time. Now, first thing is first, resveratrol works its magic by directly influencing pancreatic beta cells. That is a huge deal. Basically, it helps regenerate these cells and increase insulin levels in the blood. Now, not to increase the insulin levels to make you insulin resistant, but when you need it, right? So in turn, that leads to less glucose, less basal glucose in your system, right? And your liver will also not produce too much glucose, so you're gonna wake up with a much better blood sugar numbers because that is your liver creating all that mass, all that glucose overnight, and that's why you're waking up with higher blood sugars than you would like to see. That's not all though. Resveratrol has some pretty impressive effects on skeletal muscle and liver. As we get older, we lose a lot of muscle, right? And our liver is pretty much trash, you know, with diabetes as we get older, fatty liver, etc. It doesn't do well. A lot of people end up with cirrhosis or you cannot tolerate medications anymore because your liver is not processing them well. And they go haywire, the liver goes crazy and then you end up needing insulin to just shut down the liver from making too much sugar. So let's talk about a lot of studies in a late-term layman language that showed that actually resveratrol has the ability to improve insulin action as well in animals with insulin resistance. From rats on high cholesterol, high fructose diet to monkeys with diet-induced obesity, resveratrol has proven time and time again that it can enhance the insulin sensitivity. It's like a superhero for our cells. It fights the insulin resistance, keeping your metabolism in check, and when you need insulin, it's right there, right? That's what it does. Another fun fact about resveratrol, it can increase the glucose transport into the cells, which is what insulin does, but resveratrol helps a lot. That means that your glucose uptake in the muscle leading to improved insulin action and more energy. Actually, before that, let me tell you something. Yeah, most diabetics are, have fatigue and tiredness because their glucose is not going to their muscle because muscle needs glucose, immediate energy source, to function. Resveratrol also does wonders for skeletal muscle by promoting mitochondrial biogenesis and helping with the metabolism and preventing lipid or cholesterol accumulation. So, Resveratrol is not just your average anti-diabetic compound. It is a powerhouse of benefits that can improve insulin action and protect our cells from damage. So, you already now learned about the amazing anti-diabetic effects of resveratrol in animals with insulin 
deficient or insulin resistant diabetes. But let me tell you, there is more to this wonder compound than meets the eye. First things first, resveratrol works its magic, also being an anti-aging compound and improving your longevity. That is what the resveratrol is all about to begin with. But as a diabetic, knowing that your longevity is much less compared to other people, using this compound will be extremely beneficial for you. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit sugarmdus.com and remember to subscribe and share and like this video. I will talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.